Oh my God, how, how are we doing this again? How is this a conversation that's still happening in the year 2021? Oh wait, I know how, because the White Sox have a boomer named Tony La Russa as their manager. And objectively, he's a good manager, but also, oh my God, Tony La Russa, you couldn't be more distant from the game. Oh, this is so frustrating. I can't believe I even have to talk about this, but Tony La Russa is doing some just straight up dumb shit right now in Major League Baseball with the White Sox. And it has to do with Yerman Mercedes yesterday or two days ago, hitting a home run in a 3-0 count against the Minnesota Twins in the top of the ninth inning, 15-4 to against the Minnesota Twins. I just like, I, I feel like we're having the same conversation over and over again. We saw this last year with Fernando Tatis Jr. I made my stance very clear. Swing away 3-0. If you don't want people to swing 3-0, one, don't get in 3-0 count. Two, don't be losing. There's nothing wrong with sticking it to your team. And there's even more reasons as to why that what Yerman Mercedes did is not a problem and is actually something that we should be applauding is something good for players. And Tony LaRue are just completely threw him under the bus. I mean, one time, one time can we have a manager actually be a leader of men and lead his team, have the players back. I mean, you just completely threw Yerman Mercedes under the bus here, Tony La Russa. I'll go into exactly what he said. I'll go into what Yerman said. There's a lot of back and forth. Tim Anderson chiming in a little bit here. I really don't want this to cause any issues with the Chicago White Sox because they're playing such good baseball. I think they might even have the best record in Major League Baseball. I'm not sure based on how the games are finishing tonight, but the White Sox are one of the best, if not the best teams in baseball record. Record wise, things are going well, and Tony Larusa seems to be trying to screw it all up here. So let's get going into this. I'm not even gonna give you the like, comment, subscribe thing. You know what to do here. Drop a like if you stand with Yerman Mercedes. Subscribe to the channel if you like fun baseball. That's my plug for you. Oh, so 15 to 4, top of the ninth inning. Yerman Mercedes is up at the plates, a 3 0 count. And yes, Williams Astudio, not a pitcher, is on the mound. But this is still a ball game. The game is not yet over. 15 to 4, of course, the twins are not gonna come back. But this comes down to the stupid unwritten rules of baseball. And I've even changed my tune on this in the Past. But these rules need to go. Many, many, many of them. Some of them, okay. This one has to go. The no swinging 3 0 when you're up by a bunch of runs. What are we playing? Little League Baseball? These are men who make a living playing baseball. Their goal is to win and produce on the field. While this game, in theory, is over, there's a 99.9% .9 chance that the White Sox win this game. You never know. We have seen comebacks in Major League Baseball the last few years that have been crazy. Yerman Mercedes went up to the plate 3 0 and he swung away. Apparently, he was given the take sign, and that's where you can maybe have some issues. Oh, he's disagreeing with what the coach says, but uh, spare me, spare me the BS. It's 15 to four. If he wants to swing 3-0, he should have no problem swinging 3-0. There's no reason to take there besides for the sportsmanship rule, which is BS. But again, he swings 3-0. Williams Astudio just kind of throws like a 45 mile an hour pitch down the middle. Yerman crushes it, goes around the bases, hits a home run, makes it 16 to four. The twins, of course, had an exception with this. The twins announcers had an exception with this. They were very upset. They're like, oh, respect the game. Like, oh my God, this is not being disrespectful to the sport of baseball. Please stop. Please stop gatekeeping how baseball should should be played. If Yerman Mercedes wants to go up to the plate in the ninth inning, up 11 runs and hit a homer because the Twins decided, one, to have a pitcher be on the mound that's not an actual pitcher and in fact is Williams Astudio, and two, behind in the count, losing by 11, don't put yourself in that situation. If you don't like it, you have ways to prevent it. You didn't have to have Williams Astudio pitching if you don't like the home run. If you don't like losing, your team can play better. You can win. 15-4, to four, I know. You can't control necessarily everything that's happening, but play better. I have no issue with Yerman Mercedes swinging 3-0 here, hitting a home run and enjoying it. Now, here's where it gets really interesting before I talk about Tony La Russa's comments, and that's where it really starts to get nuts. But let me point this out. There were some tweets yesterday put out by Ben Verlander, as well as, I don't know the other guy's name just yet, but it tells you how important this is from a player standpoint. The team is still winning this game, but for Yerman Mercedes, this home run could be the matter of thousands of dollars for him down the line. Let me explain, or I should say, let Ben Verlander and the other guy explain here, and I will give him credit when I get his name. I just got to find it first. So Ben Verlander, Justin Verlander's brother, tweets out the clip and he says, this. 3-0 bomb from Yerman Mercedes off a of position player. Announcer, I don't like it. Up 15-4, to 4, I don't like it. Guess who does like it? Yerman. Yerman's wallet. Yerman's family who gets food put on their table by him. Fans of the Sox. Fans of baseball. And I couldn't agree more. I loved it as a fan of baseball. The White Sox fans love it. If you're a White Sox fan who doesn't like this, cry me a river. You're winning the game. Get more runs. Secure the win. That's why you root for the White Sox, right? You want to win the games. Yerman is making that even more of a guarantee by hitting a home run here against the Twins who are throwing a pitcher that's not a pitcher in Williams Astudia. It gets even more interesting though. A guy by the name of Alex Chamberlain, who works for Rotographs and Pitcher Leaderboard and all these different kind of outlets. He came out with this tweet. Matt Schwartz has nearly perfected arbitration models, so I would defer to his expertise should he override. But when at Sean Dolanar and I looked at this more than half a decade ago, every homer was worth 45k to 50k at arbitration. That's not chump change for a journeyman. And as good as Yerman Mercedes has been this year, he's getting his rookie season at age 28. So Yerman is technically still not this solidified guy who has this huge contract coming for him. 
point. He's got years coming up where he can make some money. In arbitration, that home run right there could have made him forty-five dollars to $50,000 more for a guy who on a rookie contract or one of these base contracts makes about five to 600000 during a season. That is a huge, huge bump. That's a huge chunk of money. So yeah, oh my goodness, Yerman Mercedes was selfish because they hit a home run? Oh no, he made $50,000 more possibly in arbitration. No problems with it. Yerman, keep doing you. And Yerman even came out and said, I'm Yerman. I play baseball this way. This is how I'm going to do it. Deal with it. Love it. Fantastic. Now let's talk about Tony LaRusso's comments because, oh my God, Tony LaRusso, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? You, you were doing so good. The White Sox were winning. Why do you have to try and ruin this? Why are you trying to ruin the juju? This is such a weird and bizarre move. So Tony LaRusso, when asked about it today, talked about Yerman Mercedes missing the take sign. He knows as to Dio. That's fine. But where it gets weird is when he's like, he knows the consequences that he's going to have to deal with now. He made a mistake. He's got to deal with his consequences and that's going to be handled internally inside our family. What is he, a child? You're going to punish him because a 28-year-old man hit a home run doing the thing he is paid to do? He's carried this offense this year for the White Sox and you're going to have the gall, the wherewithal to start calling him out and holding him accountable for hitting another home run? I don't care what the score is. He is out there to play baseball. He hit a home run 3-0. You would think that this guy committed some crime the way that Tony La Russa is talking about it. So, oh, it's just so frustrating and there's more. There's more. He kept going. He didn't just end it there. He kept going, throwing him under the bus. Oh my God. I actually didn't even hear this part. This is insane. So yeah, Tony La Russa addresses that Yerman said, you know, I play my game and Tony La Russa goes, no, you don't. You play the game of baseball. You respect the game. Who are you, Tony La Russa? Who made you the king of baseball? Why are you the person who gets to dictate how people get to play the game? I understand you're the manager. You want your team to play a certain way, but at the end of the day, you want your team to win. And you know what Yerman Mercedes has done all year long? Help your team win. This dude has bailed you out from having injuries, from having lack of bats. I, I can't even fathom it. I can't even fathom it. This is so insane. Oh, the disrespect and throwing under the bus is unreal here. He then talks more about respect of the game, respecting the opponent. There's nothing disrespectful here. I don't care if the twins have laid down and said we're not going to win. Yerman Mercedes is paid to play baseball. 3-0, he wants to hit a home run. He hits a home run. If he popped up and he got out and you gave him the take, I understand, but he hit a home run. He hit a home run. It just makes no sense. It makes no sense. Tony La Russa, a guy who has terrible, terrible judgment, by the way, a guy who's gotten behind the wheel of a car and driven drunk, should not be speaking about respect or consequences or anything about a baseball game. This dude drove drunk. Oh my God. That's so, it's so like, so tone deaf. It's so stupid. He said he apologized to the twins on behalf. He knew he had to say something. Have your players back. He's helping you win games. You, oh, I don't want to call him you boomer, you old bag of dust, but it's getting there. It's so frustrating that the manager of the team refuses to have his players back here and say he did nothing wrong. We're here to win games and Yerman helps us win games. It's simple. You made this into a problem now, Tony La Russa. The guy who has the worst judgment possibly among all managers in baseball in terms of real life consequences is talking about consequences for hitting a home run in a baseball game because the White Sox were winning by too much. By the way, the team he manages. Unbelievably tone deaf and stupid. The audacity he has to just call people out for breaking unwritten rules when this man got behind the wheel of a car drunk. Drunk! Ah, I didn't want it to be personal, but that infuriates me. That infuriates me. There's no excuse for driving drunk. There's no excuse. And then to question other people's decision making about something so not important, like hitting a home run in an 11 run baseball game in the ninth on a 3 0 count? Ridiculous. If I was a player in the locker room, you lose my respect right there. I don't know what the White Sox players are feeling, but you lose my respect. Well, actually, I should kind of adjust that. We do know what one White Sox player is feeling Tim Anderson. Tim Anderson, love him. He's a dude who plays the game hard on his sleeve. He has a ton of fun doing it. He's great for baseball. Baseball, he had a comment and I love it. It was an Instagram post by NBC Sports Chicago and it talked about miss us with the unwritten rules. It had a quote from Yerman, quote from Tony La Russa. Tim Anderson replied and said, the game wasn't over. Keep doing you, big daddy. 100. Thank you, Tim Anderson. You had your teammates back. I love it. This is a dude who plays the game the same way. He's a competitor. Yeah, I, I think everybody agrees. We love him. And even Yerman came back and replied and said, yes, sir, let's do a baby dynamite emojis. Like that's that's what I like to see. I like to see that these guys aren't getting too down because they have a dumbass manager at the helm who's saying some really stupid crap. And then it got even more dumb tonight because Yerman Mercedes got drilled tonight by the Minnesota Twins. You knew it was coming. It's stupid. He shouldn't be getting hit for hitting a home run. Don't give up home runs if you don't want to get hit. It's really that simple. He gets hit and Tony La Russa does not have his back again. Tony La Russa throws him right under the bus again because why wouldn't he? Tony La Russa seems to not give a shit about his players. Keep in mind as well, last night in the Mets game, we saw Kevin Pillar get hit in the face. If anybody, we're, my editor's gonna put the picture up of Kevin Pillar's face. That is something that can happen when a player gets hit. And he openly said he understood the Minnesota Twins throwing at Yerman Mercedes. He didn't have a problem with. Dumb, dumb, brain dead, stupid, boomer. I, I, I can't, I can't even fathom it. I can't even wrap my head around it. So bad. In fact, here's what his quote says. I don't have a problem with 
with how the Twins handled it. Dude, you don't have a problem with the Twins throwing at your player because he hit a home run in a game that you guys were up 11. You don't have a problem with the Twins purposely throwing a ball at a player on your team. He could have gotten hit and hurt. He could have been out. What do you mean you don't have a problem with it? Oh, it's so, it's so confusing, man. Every single, every single thing that comes out of Tony LaRusso's mouth feels so douchey, so arrogant, so not what baseball should be about. And yet he is still leading this team to first place. And that's the worst part. If this team was playing bad, he's out of here. He's gone. He's canned. But this team's playing well. He might be a good manager, but I don't know how players are going to be able to have this guy in the clubhouse, in the dugout, and respect him at all when you know that if you don't do what he 100% agrees with, he's going to throw you under the bus like he did to Yerman Mercedes. It's it's unbelievable. It's truly unbelievable. I'm trying to see if there's more because it seriously does feel like anything that comes out of Tony Russo's mouth is just complete bullshit. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's basically the exact thing that happened today with Tony La Russa and the Yerman Mercedes saga and swing 3-0. Bottom line, Yerman Mercedes, who cares? He's doing what he's getting paid to do. He's helping the White Sox win. He wants to swing 3-0 up 11. Let him swing. He hit a home run. Oh no, oh no. No fun police. No runs. We're, you're winning by too much. Please stop it. I can't believe that. And then I can't believe that Tony La Russa was so openly against Yerman Mercedes and even vouched for him getting hit. He said he had no problem with it. Insane. Insane. This is the world we're living in in 2021 with Major League Baseball. You have some amazing, great players and some fun things happening and the league's doing it at an all-time great, getting more viewers, getting more watchers, getting more interaction. It's doing great. And then you have Tony La Russa, who is so out of touch and doesn't seem like he has a clue about what a modern baseball player is today, saying that he's okay with this player being hit because they hit a home run in the game. Throwing his players under the bus. I just, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Especially a guy who's carried this team and saved possibly Tony La Russa's ass this year. Unbelievable. I'm hot. I need to rant. I need to let it go. I'd love to know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below. Which side are you on? What's your thoughts and opinions? Drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it, as well as subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. Drop me a follow on all my social media, Giraffe Nick Mark, as well as check out my podcast, the Messed Up Podcast, links in the description. Thank you guys for watching. I'm sweaty out here because I got hot. Tony La Russa makes me get angry sometimes. Tonight was one of those nights. And hopefully Yerman continues the ball out because he's one of the most exciting young players in the game right now. And I hope he doesn't change because he has a boomer ass manager leading the White Sox. You guys know the drill from here on out. YouTube recommends you watch this video. This is my most recent upload. Click through those if you have not yet seen them. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow for another video. Bye.